Well, Governor Katie Hobbs was in Southern Arizona today detailing the millions of dollars to help law enforcement agencies in their crusade to fight crimes linked to the border crisis. News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish has more on the governor's visit to Casa Grande. $3.2 million is going towards multiple law enforcement agencies around Southern Arizona, just like the Casa Grande Police Department that I'm standing at. This effort is to help local law enforcement crack down on border related crimes. So it's a top priority of mine to ensure that every county is receiving proper resources. Governor Katie Hobbs held a roundtable discussion with several police departments, including Florence, Eloy, Queen Creek, and more. During the discussion, they talked about the crisis at the border and the devastating impact it's having on our community. Sheriff Lamb testified that his office has seen human trafficking incidents increase four times over. Law enforcement agencies have expressed concerns over their short staffing levels to effectively combat issues such as drug trafficking, human trafficking, and the need for improved technology. It is because of these conversations that Governor Hobbs and her team has awarded the town of Florence $1.2 million in grant funding to upgrade our dispatch consoles and mobile radios. But not everyone thinks this is a good idea. I spoke with Ann, who lives in the area. She told me she doesn't believe that allocating millions of dollars to law enforcement is the right approach to address the border crisis. We throw money and money and money and money and money at it with no results. What we need is a totally new approach, uh, something radical. Meanwhile, another individual is commending the governor's efforts. Yeah, as long as that's where the money goes. Right now they're pulling the National Guard from the border, so we need to put something there to cover those areas and gaps. That millions of dollars in funding is coming from the previously appropriated border security fund. Reporting from Casa Grande, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.